you know what it takes to be number one. At State Farm, so do we. It wasn't until, uh, you know, that second operation when I was recovering from that and we were down in Boise for the bowl game. Um, it was after that bowl game is when I first started, you know, having some weird symptoms, fainting randomly and having blurry vision and, and losing my vision at some points. And that was just really awkward. It's when I came back to school for the next semester um, when I told the trainers about it that uh, Dr. Mystery gave me an EKG, when they, which is when they found out about um, the Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. And it really was breaking my foot and, and being out of shape and not being able to exercise really and being on crutches and not being able to run that is when I finally started seeing symptoms of the Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. So that's the real reason that they caught it. So it ended up being you know, a real blessing that I broke my foot in the first place. For us seniors, it doesn't get any better than this. You couldn't, you couldn't really ask for much more. You know, you're, we're playing our biggest rival, and uh, you know it's at our home stadium. And uh, you know we get to hopefully have you know a lot of who's out there rooting for us. All oh, his, his his emotions, his mannerisms are like so exaggerated. Uh, he's he's just one of he's a character. I mean, there's. He's a character of himself, you know, people say that, but like, you know, people that know him are like, only Stupa acts like Stupa. He's a funny kid, he, he knows all, a lot of lines to different movies, so he'll always be saying different lines to movies, and you know, you can get a laugh out of Stupa quite easily. He's a fun guy, he's a character, he's a fairly religious, um, he's just a great guy, down to earth, he comes from a great family, a um, great athletic family, and uh, He's just a great guy to be around all the time. Sewell under center play fake again. Tight in the catch, 20. He's a go-to guy. Like It's funny because his personality off the field and, and, and the things he do on the field don't match. I mean, off the field, he's, he's relaxed. Uh, he's kind of a goofy guy sometimes. And then he gets on the field, and you know if the ball goes to 88, uh, he's going to go up and get it. He, he, he's a guy who, when it hits his hands, you know he's going to come down with it. When he comes down with it, he's gonna run somebody over maybe, and uh, he's gonna get five or six more yards, so people respect that. Individually, it's just been, I mean, a great season, uh, especially for the tight ends as a whole, you know. This year, it's really been a great chance for Tom, JP, and I to really be able to kind of show what we can do. It's a lot of fun, obviously, to go out there and catch passes and, and run around. It's been quite a ride that way. And I mean, as a team, you know, we're just kind of riding the wave right now. He can block for you, he can catch, um, he's just that, he's the all-around tight end that you would want on your team. Play fake, Sewell to throw, throws, catch made, 40-yard line. If you need a first down or if you need a completion, um, throw it to the scoop bar because he'll get it for you. He's got tremendous hands. He's able to um, go out and, and, and get the ball wherever wherever you place it. He'll, he'll, he'll put an effort, make an effort to get that catch. I'm sure for a lot of players that they would want their, their uh, last last year to be their best year. Um, they want to go out on a good note and, and Stubar's really not worried about what he does individually. He's really worried about what the team is doing and, and you can see that in how he plays each and every day at practice and in the game. He's always going out there trying to you know, win and he's going out there to try to make catches and blocks to, to help the team and the offense be successful. We're just we're enjoying every week uh, that we have here, especially I know all the seniors, you know, this is, our, this is our last go around, so I mean, we're definitely just enjoying every game we play, every week, every day of preparation, every practice, just, you know, enjoy going out there and playing football, because I mean, you never know, uh, you know, what's going to happen next year, and if you're done, you know, you're done, if you need a chance to go on, you do, but I mean, you got to play in the moment and live in the moment, and that's kind of what we're doing right now.